welcome back to Let's Play to 2013. This is TNA episode 5, and this is our first impact. Oh, it's two hours long, which... Uh, Alright. I know what our big angle at the end is going to be. It's going to be a post-match attack. Two on one. Where AJ is attacked by Samoa Joe and James Storm. And then three man group. Yeah. No. There's a music video. We don't want that. Um, I guess entertainment, three main group. I'm going to clone this because really the only one talking here uh, would be Heyman. So it will be removed, save. Nikes. Three people, one. Select. So it would be Paul Heyman, James Storm, Samoa Joe, so it's a 20 minute end, so probably want to have it be AJ Styles and Chris Sabin. So main event supposed to be 13. Let's go above and beyond. Styles, open, script. Slow build, decisive. Make it just for the world heavyweight. And I think there's a challenge up here. Where's challenge? Challenge microphone? Yep. Good. I didn't want this to be rated well anyway. So there we go. Alright. So we do need um I guess as a just like a warm up match to the main event. Joseph Parks and Bully Ray. Have Bully Ray win decisively. And then Yes, out come Garrett and Wes. Take out Bully. But before that, we go backstage and there's a, a backstage brawl breaking out between Jeff Hardy and Bobby Roode. No one knows why. What is going on between these two? Uh, we'll we'll have to we'll have to figure this out and get back to you. Uh, let's see. There would be a one-on-one -on -one match between Daniels and Sting. We'll say. In which Daniels goes over. In which Sting goes over, because Sting never loses. And Daniels will do jobs. And then... What we got left? We had those two backstage fighting. 
Austin Aries could fight Kenny King in a little bit of a Austin Aries needs a, a rub type match. And they could do that whole argument leading to match thing. So, Austin Aries and Kenny King. Alright, and then it would be Kaz and... Who's the other member of the main event, Mafia Magnus? Because that makes sense. Magnus, yes. my favorite things in the world the pull apart brawl between Sting and Magnus Christopher Daniels and Kazarian um, let's just do an angle for the women's match where Gail talked about how she will be facing Velvet Sky and how Velvet Sky has no chance because she is Gail Ken. We need Anderson and Guerrero. Anderson kind of talks junk about Bully Ray for six minutes. And then... I guess... Ugh. Chavo and Hernandez. They get to face off against... Right out the chance, Jesse and Robbie. Four minutes, and we'll give Robbie a win based on interference on Chavo by Sabin, the champ. Okay, so we have our show. Who is not being booked? Terry and Nux. I'd like to get Nux over. More so than Rob Terry. So I'm going to kind of put Nux over Rob Terry. In the pre-show. And then... I mean, Manic doesn't need to be booked. Nope, done and done. Uh, hopefully we get better than a C. Uh, maybe I should not be pushing Nux. Well, that match was alright. Saban, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that would do well. Uh, I didn't think Gail, Gail Kim's better on the mic than a D minus. Flesh, me and you, we're going to have a talk about this. Fleitch. Yeah, that makes sense. Aries and Kenny King. Wow, C minus. Aries is good, though. right into a seat nice Austin Aries you're getting a push my friend straight push Holmes alright Kaz and Magnus did not do well together 
and then this pull apart brawl Magnus probably pulled it down so let's see good crowd good action Bully Ray hits the bully cutter alright not bad Anderson comes out talks trash on Bully Ray that's uh, too much of a uh, pull down but whatever and then we go backstage and Bobby Roode and Jeff Hardy are brawling and no one knows why and then Saban and Styles just steal the show in the main event and then it gets cooled down by this uh, complete turn yes complete turn yes Taken down by this and that, yeah. Oh, because Heyman didn't debut with a gimmick. God damn it. Alright, so we're losing popularity in America, but gaining popularity around the world. Good old TNA. I should probably give Heyman a a gimmick and a a quick changeover. Yeah, let's go. Three point five three on spike again. Yeah, here. Here's a thousand dollars. Keep quiet. All right. Paul Heyman. Gimmick change. Filter. Bitter legend. Go for it. Can't be any worse than an F minus. And then Joe and Storm is a redneck. Yeah, okay, good. Good, so we're good to go. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you next week, hopefully with some different series. Let me know how you liked the TNA series, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.